If you are sending an email to somebody who doesn't know you, there is a big risk that your email may end up in his or her spam folder. Now in this video, I will share with you 10 tips on how you can avoid your emails from being marked as spam. Hi, my name is Andrew and I help businesses write compelling emails that convert prospects into customers. Now, spam filters basically detect unsolicited or unwanted emails, you know, and for the, for the more advanced ones, you know, phishing type of scams and to stop it from entering the email inboxes. They are applied to both inbound emails, i.e. emails that's entering the network, and also outbound emails, you know, emails that's being sent out. Now, ISPs generally use both of these methods to protect their customers. Now, for you, as a responsible email marketer, you definitely won't want your emails to land in a spam folder. According to research conducted by ReturnPath, only 79% of emails sent by marketers like yourself reach subscribers' inboxes. Only 79%. Now, how come? All it takes is a small error that will send your email into the junk box, causing serious almost irreversible damage to your email deliverability and also your sender reputation. Here's tip number one, avoid the use of spammy words. Now to avoid your emails from being trapped by the spam filter, you will want to make sure that you refrain from the use of any spam friendly words or even languages. Now you can download a free guide that I prepared for you, 272 spammy words to avoid. The link is provided in the description box below. Here's tip number two, Ask subscribers to add you to their contact list. This is a simple hack to signal to the spam filters that when a subscriber adds you to their address book, your IP address will be whitelisted and that your subscribers actually want to receive your emails. Most spam filters work like this, so do not be shy and ask your subscribers to add you in their contact list. Here's tip number three. Use a recognizable sender name. Now, it is a good practice to always strive to send emails from an email address that contains your personal name or maybe uh, includes your company name so that the recipients can you know easily recognize you instantly so tip number four be careful with your subject lines because 69 percent of email recipients report messages that are spam based solely on the subject lines alone tip number five make sure you check your spelling and grammar now spell checking and proofreading are basically essential components of every good email marketing campaign now incorrect spelling or faulty grammar for that matter, will damage your credibility with your readers and, well, makes you seem unprofessional. Tip number six, make it easy to unsubscribe. Now, it is the law and it's also a good professional practice. Now, by including an unsubscribe button or link in each and every one of your emails, you're basically protecting your reputation and also your credibility with your readers and their email ISPs. Tip number seven, now, test your emails before sending them. Now, I will highly recommend that you test your emails before you actually send them to your subscribers. For example, you can try a service like Mail Tester that helps you test the quality of your emails. It's free. Now, it basically mimics uh, spam filters and literally tests for spamminess. Now, the score that you get from the report will help you improve your deliverability by making the necessary tweaks to your email. Now, I provided a link for you in the description box below. Tip number eight, keep your email list clean. Now to avoid spam traps and also spam filters, it is essential that you maintain a clean email list. And this includes not purchasing any email or external email list. Now legally, doing so is a violation of your ISP terms and service. Tip number nine, pay attention to the dormant subscribers. Now if you notice that some of your subscribers are not opening or reading or even clicking your emails, you should do something about it. Try to do a periodic cleanup of your email list. Do it every six months. Then you tag or group those who have been inactive for more than six months into a separate group so that you can then send a re-engagement campaign to get them back into your fold or the, at the very least, get them to unsubscribe from your list. Tip number 10, ask for the subscription twice. Now make sure that your subscribers really, really want to hear from you. Now when they subscribe, send them another email to ask them to confirm that they do indeed want to receive emails from you. Now, basically, this is called a double opt-in. This way, it will help you keep your list neat and clean and your domain reputation pristine. So always be mindful of triggering your email recipient's spam filter. Now, write your email responsibly. 
and be respectful of your recipient's time by making your content relevant to them. Now, if you want to learn more on how to attract your ideal leads, grow your subscriber list, and also your business through email marketing, join me in a 3 days email challenge. I've provided a link to sign up in the description box below. I'll see you in the next video.